What's that noise? That like squeak? Yeah. I think field mice or something. So I am scared of mice. Are you? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> so I hate mice. mice oh, I'll be on top of this car. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, this is Daniel with TLC 4x4 and behind me I got this beautiful 1985 FJ60. The backstory in this truck, the owner has owned there for more than 20 years and uh, the truck has already gone a uh, small restoration in the 90s but it was starting to show its age. The truck lives up in uh, northeast and it's seen a lot of uh, inclement weather and salt and actually lives on a beach so a lot of salt. So when we got the truck, we had to do a lot of uh, rust repair. Once we stripped the body uh, down to the bare metal, we've uh, noticed that the roof had extensive damage. The guys ended up cutting the whole roof skin and uh, grafting a new roof skin on the truck. Starting with the front, we wanted to keep this truck as stock appearing as possible. So we kept the original bumpers, original grill, original emblems. The only thing that was updated up front of the truck is the LED headlights and LED bulbs throughout the markers and the turn signals. We kept all the original vents, original mirrors. All we did is delete all the chrome around the windows, just gives it that cleaner look. The door handles, door locks, everything is Toyota OEM. Moving on to the back of the truck, original taillights, taillights housings, original bumpers. The only thing that we've added onto this truck is a uh, trailer hitch. And then the color was finished in that OEM Toyota uh, 147 silver. We used Chromax XP uh, as our base and clear. We sent the factory Toyota wheels to get re-chromed. We wrapped those in a BF Goodridge all-terrain 33-inch tires. We got an uh, LS3 430 horsepower motor. It's made it to an NV4500 five-speed manual transmission. From there, we adopted that to the original FJ60 transfer case. As far as the cooling system, we run a TLC aluminum radiator with an electric fan. We rebuilt the entire steering system. On the braking system, we upgraded the front rotors and pads to DBA. From there, we put all stainless steel braided lines, all new lines throughout the truck, new master, new booster, and a new proportioning valve. On most of these builds, we upgrade the hood with uh, hood shocks, so that way there's no more hood prop rod or the helper springs. We kept the OEM chassis, which was stripped down and powder coated. The axles were stripped down as well and uh, rebuilt with all new components, powder coated housings and assembled together. We're running OME leaf springs and Fox racing shocks. As far as the exhaust system goes, we're running a, a two and a half inch stainless steel mandrel bend exhaust system with Magnaflow mufflers. In this truck, we wanted to retain the OEM look, so we are running our TLC factory style stainless steel tank. This allows you to keep your spare tire still mounted in the original location and keeping the rest of the truck factory looking. This truck is pretty bare bones and that's how the customer wanted it. It still has the original manual crank windows, no power locks, five speed transmission, before any of the interior goes into this truck, we start with a layer of Dynamatic Stream, follow that by Dynaliner, and then from there we build out all the panels, we install the carpet, we put the headliner in, and then kind of built the whole interior. We wanted to retain the factory gray interior, so we started with the dash. The dash was really heavily cracked. Uh, we sent the dash out to our friends at Just Dashes. They were able to restore the OEM dash to like new condition. From there, we added our TLC gauges, which help a lot with the LS swaps and gives it a little bit of a modern touch. The steering wheel was also leather wrapped. The front seats were updated as well with our TLC seats. Rear seats, we utilized the factory seat frames that were all taken apart, sandblasted and powder coated, and then new foams and covers were created. For materials, we use Morin Giles leather and then we also incorporated Chilowich uh, fabrics insert in our door panels. We also hand fabricated the door panels and the cargo panels to give us that OEM period correct look. For the console, our customer wanted the OEM console. So what we did there, we disassembled that console, uh, made any necessary repairs, dyed it, and then the only modification we've done to it is added 3D printed uh, cup holders. As far as audio system, we're running Kicker KX speakers. And it's really hard to find a, a head unit that looks 
period correct, but also has all the modern functionalities like Bluetooth. So we went with this JVC unit that looks and feels like mid 80s. As far as the back of the truck, it's pretty much all factory OEM, other than adding some rear speakers in the back and adding these overhead lights. We added these overhead lights that automatically turn on when the hatch is open. Uh, this gentleman does a lot of fishing, so he needed some lighting back here while he's getting his tackle ready. Dang. Money. Uh, moving on. All right, ready? Ready. On this <laughs> To give him that. Uh, All right. I promise. So what did we Dude. Not doing good today. You know, yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> Why'd you say that? No, <laughs> Sometimes I say stuff and I'm like, I'm like, why did they just come out of my mouth? Oh, dude, that's. Should I start all over again? The whole video. Cut. <laughs>